Hi guys, it's Mackenzie and I wanted to do um, a video today, something that I saw from Angela at the Gathered Nest. She did the homeschool tag, and which is about homeschooling and why you homeschool and just a tag for homeschooled moms to do or dads I guess. Um, and I just wanted to do that tag and let you guys have some insight to my homeschooling mind. And uh, yeah, so she didn't tag me. Uh, she didn't know many who homeschooled. But she said anyone could do it, so I'm going to do it. So let's get started. The first question is why are you homeschooling? And this question, uh, well, there's many reasons why we're homeschooling. I guess the first reason we decided to homeschool was more because our daughter was so advanced that we just felt like, at the time she was two, and we just felt like there was no way we could wait three years to send her to kindergarten or send her to school. No way. She would be bored out of her mind. She'd be getting in trouble. And so we kind of started there, and now she'll be four in October, and she is starting kindergarten curriculum now. So that was the first reason we started, but then as we grew and our heart changed and stuff, because at that time I was like, eh, I might send the boys to public school or whatever. But as our hearts have changed and as I've seen so many benefits, um, I really think that homeschooling is something that we're going to stick with for everyone as long as we can and situations allow us to. Um, I mean, now it's like, why wouldn't we want our kids with us all day so that we can really teach them and shape them into who we feel like they need to be and the character personalities we want them to have. And also, there's a lot of stuff academically and financially and healthy, like a lot of different reasons why I wouldn't want to send them to public school. And frankly, we can't afford private school. So now it's just like a no-brainer. Like, of course, we're going to homeschool the kids. Number two is, what do your children think of homeschooling? Well, I guess since... <laughs> Goodness. I guess since we caught it early and we kind of made this choice early, they didn't really know the difference. So um, my daughter loves doing the schoolwork. She thinks it's the coolest thing ever. She loves doing it. She does know that there's some kids that go to school, but like her own cousins are homeschooled and oops, her daddy was homeschooled and such. So I mean, homeschooling is not a far out thought. and. Yeah, it's really not an issue yet. They think it's fine. They like it. So, the question was, did your extended family support it? And yes, for the most part. Steven's family, well, he was homeschooled, so they all pretty much think that's the way to go. Uh, so they obviously support it. And then my family, it's kind of a, a new thing to them. They... They're not against it, or if they are, they haven't said that to me, but it's just really odd, and there's been like a lot of, without me ever saying anything, like some defensive comments, like, well, I would do that, but blah, 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 like, you know, and kind of like, I don't know, they think that I'm a weirdo, or that I'm better than them, or I think I'm better than them, when I don't. Um, because I used to be that person that was like, I would never homeschool, but you know, everyone's, everyone's journey is different. So they don't outright not support it, but they're not encouraging either. <laughs> um, question number four, were you homeschooled? I was not homeschooled. I was in public school pretty much the entire school career for me. Uh, there was about a year where I went to a private Christian school for a little bit, but for the most point I was um, not homeschooled. in public school the entire time. Question five, best advice you've been given or have to give? Um, 
that would be like going to the conferences, got, finding a community, a homeschool community, people you can ask questions. There's lots of groups on Facebook that have been really helpful to me when I did have a question and the conferences are great and when your kids are under six, at least the one that I'm around, uh, if your kids are under six, they let you go for free so you can really go and learn all kinds of stuff that is really, really helpful to a first time homeschooling parent. Question six, favorite thing about homeschooling? Uh, that would definitely, hands down, be the freedom. The freedom to put my children in the level they want to be, or need to be, like starting my daughter in a to do. Uh, that's freedom. Um, the freedom to go on field trips when we want to, the freedom to make plans in the middle of the day, the freedom to sleep in if we want to sleep in, all of those things. Um, the freedom to Uh, least favorite thing about homeschooling would probably be record keeping and just like fears and worries and you know uh -huh. just a huge commitment for me especially if you do have a kid that's not in their normal level of where they would be like my daughter is and I mean for me it's like this is a lifelong commitment we can't change our minds because I can't homeschool my daughter for three years and her being second grade at the age of, you know, five or six, her being second or third grade and then send her back to public school and then put her back in kindergarten or first grade. I can't do that. So for me, it's just like, I guess the pressure of knowing like this is on me, we have to make this work and they, they have to get it. We have to figure it out. So that's kind of hard because there are those days that it's not a piece of cake, you know? And so in those moments, knowing that you have to press forward, well, it's a good thing because it's a motivator and makes you really get creative with how you're going to do things, but it's also a stressor at the same time. Number eight, most annoying comment you've gotten. Um, I haven't gotten a lot of bad comments, but when I was still working and I had coworkers that I was with, my daughter was in there. She was like, I don't know, a year and a half old, maybe two at that point. And she just talked so much and she knew all our letters and shapes and numbers and colors and all the basic preschool stuff. And I told a coworker, I was like, you know what, I really think we're gonna end up homeschooling her. Uh, to keep her at the level she needs to be and she was like oh no why would you do that to her she's so social she loves talking to people why would you do that to her when you keep her at home and don't let her make friends and it was just kind of like they do make friends school is not the only way to make friends and they probably make better friends this way anyways so it was just kind of like um very common stereotype there that is kind of annoying. Number nine, one thing that has not worked for you. Um, one thing that has not worked for me, well my kids are very young so I would say one thing that hasn't worked for me right now is just having like a set schedule. That hasn't worked for me. We kind of have to see when she is ready and able to sit down and do her homeschool. Ah, don't take my stand away. Sometimes that is at 8 o'clock in the morning and other times, seriously, my baby is being crazy right now. Other times that's at 2 in the afternoon and still more times it is at 7 o'clock at night right before bed. So, having a set schedule has not worked for me. I know in the future when I have several I'm homeschooling, probably going to need a schedule. But as of now, not worked for me. Question 10, one thing that has worked for you. Um, one thing that's worked for me, oh my goodness, Nehemiah, please. 
one thing that has worked for me is um, the easy peasy all-in-one homeschooling that was really really good to do preschool stuff and get my daughter to start sight words and whatnot uh, but we are moving on to that to a different curriculum but that worked well for what we needed to do with her advancement and stuff the McGuffey primer reading series and all of that that worked well for us um, so far so we'll see what continues to work well and what doesn't what is your homeschool style well I am very new to this and I don't really think that we have a style right now. It's kind of just like, let's see what's going to work and that's what we'll do. So, so I don't like a lot of screen time, so we do more book stuff. Uh, I really enjoy reading several different types of books for a subject versus just one textbook, but at the same time I don't want a million books I have to go to. So that's a challenge. We like to do hands-on stuff, but honestly, uh, we're not as creative. We're not all the time you know, project kind of people. We are more of a sit down and do your schoolwork, and then maybe we'll find something fun to do that is incorporated with it later, and that's kind of where we are. But I don't really think we have a style, and I'm sure that as you grow and change and as you have more children homeschooling and they're all different and you've got to kind of adjust to your child uh, that we'll end up with our own unique style just like pretty much everyone does. Uh, question 11. Oh no, that was 11. Question 12. Does your spouse or partner help with homeschooling? And yes, he does. He doesn't do the planning, lesson planning or anything like that. That's, I do that. But I have a planner and I write down basically everything we're going to do for the day for homeschooling. And if he's home, sometimes the kids will ask for him to do the homeschooling and he will he'll do it and he's good at it and he likes it and the kids like it and then that gives me an opportunity to get some other stuff around the house done so my husband is very involved and he goes to the conferences with me and in the future we think that we're probably going to have him teach like a class to each kid and that's how we'll do it but right now if there's a day that they want him to do the schoolwork and he's home then he will do schoolwork with them and that's how it works so I'm very very glad that I have a supportive husband well guys that is all the questions for the homeschool tag I hope you enjoyed this video if you are a homeschooling parent please go ahead and do the tag and let me know that you did it as well and go check out Angela's video over at the gathered nest and see what she had to say about her homeschooling stuff thank you guys for watching and I will see you in our next video bye